he said there's going to be no compromise with ADP. He's not going to settle for one board seat because he wants a mandate for change, it seems. Well, not, not at this point anyway. What he said uh, was the, the board would have to have a serious change of heart in order for him to make a settlement. He said if they were willing to kind of implement his plan and push through the changes he wants, then maybe one would be enough. But generally, as it stands right now, he sees no, no room for compromise. Okay. And Pershing Square is going to hold a webcast tomorrow as well yes. at ADP. What might we expect from that? Because he usually has something to announce. Yeah, so uh, ADP has a really large retail investor group. Uh, it's about 28% of the stock mm -hmm. is held by retail investors. So Ackman has decided that he's going to reach out directly to the retail investors. So he's holding this webcast at 7 p.m., which is great for our deadlines. But, <laughs> you know, he's... He's, he's what not he's, worried about that. He, no, he wants people to, you know, have go home, have dinner, Get on this call, <laughs> ask questions, uh, and it's, it's geared towards the retail investor. And what pushback has he had, if any, from current investors? Because as you said, he's kind of defended his track record, and there are a number of items that we can point to where um, his decisions have been less than stellar. Yeah, I mean, obviously Valiant stands out as a mm -hmm. $4 billion Never loss, lied. and that's fresh in everybody's minds. But he's saying when he's going out and meeting shareholders, that's not coming up. That's not something that they're all that concerned about. What they're concerned about is ADP and what they can do there. Can this company be run better? And he thinks that he has a plan to run it better. Mm. So sticking to his knitting there, uh, when it comes to other topics where he just kind of philosophized, philosophized? Yes, no. yes philosophized <laughs> on what else is going on that he needs to be mindful of. What did he say about disruption? Because that was an interesting conversation. Well, he said that he, said that he thought that inf inflation was going to be uh, hindered by technological advancement. Um, so things like Uber has allowed people to work you know, from two to seven, where they normally wouldn't be able to get a job like that, and what, and because of that, it's going to have a dramatic impact on the broader economy. Um, he also speculated on who he thinks the next uh, Fed would, uh, Federal Reserve chair would be, and and he says Kevin Warsh is the guy. Uh. Uh, he says he knows him, likes him. Think he's certain that Trump's going to uh, elect a new Fed chair, so that's uh, that's his pick for it. And he thinks that's the right pick. That's the right pick, apparently.